man, all four of my viewers are fake. <laughs> all 11 of my subscribers. Cause I'll be putting out videos and they'll look dark. Like it looked like a little black kind of shade was over all of my videos. And I was wondering why that happened because I was like, okay, I don't look at my videos right away or at all because I'm just that person and I kind of get scared about looking at my own videos. I look at them to review them and all that stuff. They look good in Final Cut, but when I was exporting it, it was looking really dark when I uploaded it to YouTube because even on my computer itself, it looked fine. But once I exported it and put it on YouTube, it was like, no girl, what are you doing? And I looked online for the problem and I found a solution for myself and I wanted to share it with y'all. So it's just the way that I was exporting the file on Final Cut was the wrong way, especially because I was going from this camera, which is my Sony Sony ZV-1 to my iPhone. So I was switching between two different types of footage. I kind of wanted to break that down and show y'all what the fix was and do a day in my life because I'm not always running around and doing all this stuff. This is a normal Thursday for me. I kind of get re-prepared for the next week. I uh, usually wash clothes, clean my room so I can have a clean space. And then honestly, I just go back over my sister's house for the weekend, which is what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I took y'all along for the journey. I'll see y'all in a bit. So, cleaning day today. I got my comfy little outfit on. And, ooh, I have to squat like this because I'm on a tripod that doesn't go that high. Yeah, no, it doesn't go higher than this. Uh, and also, I got a lot of stuff to do. Actually, let me still. Can y'all see me? As you can see, my room's dirty. I haven't been in here. And actually I was in here a couple days ago, but I actually like fully been here for like the night where I was like, oh yeah, I'm at my house. Ooh, it's been like about a week because of this whole car situation. I'm now gonna be at my sister's house and then I'm going to Mexico, so that's fun. What that means is the clothes that I need washed need to be washed today. This room, I want it clean. I need it to be clean and I wanna get some editing done. So obviously with all that being said, I think the room cleaning might take an hour or two depending on what actually I want to get done today. The washing clothes obviously just takes as much time as the washer will take. And picking out my clothes should take another hour. I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Y'all can watch me clean. A little careless with it but i was trying to like get stuff together get out the house very fragile um the light could still work it's just this little pole that it comes with it's easier to maneuver around with so that's kind of annoying maybe i'll use some super glue on it mm.
just finished cleaning my room. It looks all nice. Ooh. Let me show everything. But yeah, just finished cleaning my room. So I'm ready for the weekend. I got all my bags packed. They're out there. I'm a little exhausted, but I have to cook tonight for my family. Uh, yeah, I guess this is turned into a vlog. But like I said earlier, I'm gonna show y'all how to fix the footage. I'm gonna do that right now, actually. I'm gonna film myself doing that, screen record everything, and then I'm gonna get going, cause we gotta go. We got places to go. All right, see y'all later. So I'm opening up Final Cut on my laptop. Let's just go ahead and do file new project. I already have a library open event, all that good stuff. So um, that's just something that if you kind of don't know how to do that, I can break that down for you, but I'm just going through a quick tutorial because I have a little bit of time. You're gonna go ahead and name it. Let's just say example. I can't even think of a word. I was like, it just went blank. So I have my vlog uh, timeline set for here. This is one of my projects. And I can go to my photos, which I don't really want to, but I'm just gonna drag what I have here already. So I'll show you the example right now. Um, an example being the old footage, what it looks like on my laptop and then also what it looks like on YouTube. I'll show both of those as an example, just so you guys can see. Um, let me go ahead and do that. So I have my channel right here, pulling it up. Let's go Memorial Day weekend. So right now it's showing very dark. It's darker than what I filmed it at, and I was like, what the heck? And then I go here to Memorial Day weekend for the exports, and this is what it looks like here. So you're going from this bright screen to almost this black shade on there and you're like, what the heck? So what we're gonna do is the settings that I need to export with is what I needed to change. And it's because I was using iPhone footage and ZV-1 footage. So let me go ahead and show that to you right quick. I'm not gonna show you the iPhone footage and the ZV-1 footage together right now because I just wanna get this to you and this information. You're gonna go ahead and do add destination and basically you can add whatever destination you want to. So I think I just did export file. I think it was what it was. So that's called export file two. And then with this one, I'm just gonna show you all the settings that I had over here. So the format is computer. And then video codec is H.264. Multi-pass, better. The resolution is 1920 by 1080. And then this is just what I use as my default to play when it comes out but you just need to make sure it's on computer H.264 and 1920 by 1080. So let's say I wanna add a destination. I'm gonna go ahead and do another one for this example. So export file three, I would go format computer H.264. We're going multi-pass multi better. And then 1920 by 1080, everything else can be saved that way. So now I can move this to the top export file three is what we just made. And then when I go ahead and export, export file three is gonna have everything that I need for it. And it should say MP4, because that's what YouTube standard is. If you go look that up, that's YouTube standard and that's what they want. Settings should all look good. This resolution is 640 by 480 just because it's my VHS camera, but usually it says 1920 by 1080 or whatever the 4K setting is. And you should be good to go. And just press next, export. And yeah, I hope that helps y'all. Now my videos have uploaded. They're the right color. Let me show you an example. This is the most recent one that I put up. Right here. And there we go. Bright and what it should be.